I am Laura from Advanced Tech Support and in this session I'll talk you through the programming for a lockdown input and show you a panel demonstration. Locate a spare input to be used for the lockdown input. This could be a manual call point, a key switch or an input on an I.O. module on the loop. On this config file, there is a spare input on loop 1 at address 6. When a device is highlighted on the right, the point details are displayed on the left hand side. The location text and the zone number can be changed so that it is more relevant. For example, the location text could be labelled as external input and the zone number can be changed so that it does not get linked to a fire zone. Choose a zone that is not currently being used. To find an unused zone, go to View Edit Zone Text from across the top row of icons and choose any zone that is not in this list. On this config, Zone 50 is spare, so this can be used. Back on the input, the zone can then be changed to Zone 50. The input action should be set to General Alarm so that it does not show on the panel as a fire signal and cause confusion. Instead, it will show as an alarm condition. Ensure that the input latched option is unticked so that when the input is no longer active, the panel automatically resets and turns off the sounders. The sounders can now be programmed to operate from the lockdown input being activated. To program the sounders to operate with a different tone when the lockdown input has been activated, a ring and style must be programmed. Go to View Edit Ring and Styles, then select an unused ring and style and look on the left hand side to the details. The output type could be changed to pulse or the tone could be changed depending on the type of sound as on site. The ringing style description can also be changed for reference. Once this has been set up, go to View Edit Output Cause and Effect and right click on the output group for the sounders to add an input event. If unsure which output group the sounders have been assigned to, right click on an output group and select view all outputs in this group. The type of devices in that specific group will then be displayed. Close the pop-up box, then right click on that output group again and select add input event. Select the lockdown input and then select the rigging style program for lockdown. This will add it in into the output group. The config must now be uploaded into the panel and a test should be performed to ensure the sound does operate as expected. For information on performing panel uploads, please refer to our other support videos. In this demonstration, a key switch has been programmed as a lockdown input to operate the sound as with a different tone when the key is turned. For this demonstration, function LED5 is being used to represent sound activation. When the key is turned, the LED turns on and the panel shows an alarm condition. The panel buzzer will also operate. Pressing mute will silence it. Scrolling to the right from the main menu will display more information on the activated device such as the zone and location text. To view the state of the input, go to View and then Inputs through the panel menu. Scrolling to the right on the zone for the lockdown input will show the state. As the key is still in the active position, the state for this input is Alarm 1. When the key is turned back to normal operation, the state goes back to normal and the LED turns off without the need to manually reset the panel.